Hello lovely viewers, Amanda Lee back with another episode of In My Beauty Kit. And this episode, I'm actually gonna branch out. I won't be talking about cosmetics or hair. I'm actually going to be talking about stockings, fully fashioned stockings to be exact. I'll give you a little bit of a history of fully fashioned stockings that refers to the way that they are made. They are knitted flat on a machine and then they are shaped to the leg and stitched up the back and that's what forms the seam. So the seam is not just for decorative purposes, it actually is holding them together. I've been wearing fully fashioned stockings for quite a few years and I have some definite um, likes and dislikes. Um, I have real favorites now. Um, I'll start by talking about my favorite brand of stocking and that is Geo. I purchased them on eBay. There's a couple of distributors in the U.S. now, so that makes them uh, a little less expensive and a little faster to get. Um, as far as I know, the only remaining um, knitting machines are located in England. There used to be a company in the U.S. called Magnolia that had their own knitting machine, and I believe what I heard was that that broke a few years ago, and they were unable to repair it. And so as far as I know, there's not any company in the U.S. that's producing them anymore. So they all come from overseas. Um, as I mentioned, my favorite brand is Geo. I like them a lot because they have um, a really lovely um, soft nylon that fits really well. It comes in quite a few colors. Um, I like the shade bronze the best, which is actually this color, which is a soft um, nude color. It looks really nice on fair skin. Um, but they actually have quite a few colors. Um, they have this lovely copper shade, which looks great for a little bit of contrast around somebody that's a little darker. Of course, they have black, which is a nice sheer black. And they have some fun colors too, like I've worn plum in the past and electric blue, and they have a really nice orchidy lavender pink color. Fully fashioned stockings um, come in several different heel types. So I'll show you a few. I'm gonna start with what is called a Cuban heel. So I'll put this on my hand so you can see. And the Cuban heel is um, a squared off heel. There's also Havana heel, which is also squared off, and I'm talking about this part here. Um, Havana is a little bit wider, and so I have developed a fondness for Cuban heel. I think it's a little more flattering on the leg, but both are really pretty, it's personal preference. Um, they also come in the heel type called French point, which is just like it sounds. It's a point. And that's my current favorite stocking shape. This is the color, uh, the type I look for uh, and wear most of the time now. And then they also come in fancier heels. This is what um, is called a Manhattan heel, which has a great um, sort of like deco, like a skyscraper where you get um, a diamond shaped heel with an extra outline. Um, you'll see this you, in vintage stockings and you'll also see um, fancy trim like uh, flocking, little flock designs or rhinestones. Um, so that's fun for a little bit different. I showed you the French point already, but this is showing you a contrast seam. So with a basic contrast seam, this contrast is a single thread in a uh, contrasting color that's just woven in. So it's just the seam and the heel is still the black, or if you had nude, it would be a nude heel. And then there's also something called black foot or full contrast, which is where you have nude or another shade and the reinforced heel and toe and seam are that contrasting black. And then of course, the top portion is also black. So that's fun for something a little saucier um, for everyday wear or for photo shoots. So that shows you the types of stockings that are available. And then to hold them up, you have a few options. Of course, you have your basic garter belt. This one here is from an earlier line of What Katie Did. What Katie Did is another um, UK company that makes fabulous reproduction lingerie. They make their own stockings and they're very nice. This is their classic garter belt. This particular one has six straps and I personally prefer to have six straps over four if I'm going to wear a garter belt. It offers um, a little bit more stability so that your seam stays straighter. So that is a garter belt. You have some other options. This here is a waist cincher by the company Rego. And this is in the black and pink. 
Waist cinches are nice. They do give up a little bit of cinching um, to the waist, as the name implies. Um, they also give a nice smooth line to your clothing. And the best thing about them is uh, I have found that out of all the options that I have worn for um, holding up my stockings, waist cinchers keep your stocking seams the straightest, or at least for me. I find that they work great. So this is what I'm often wearing under my clothes when you see me. Um, Rego also makes girdles and they've been in business for 50 plus years and they basically make essentially what you would have bought back in the 50s or 40s. So this is a panty girdle that has had, um, it has removable garters and they're not on there. So you can wear it either as a girdle or with stockings. They're great underpants, obviously not with stockings. But. And then this here is what you call an all-in-one open bottom girdle. Has the six straps. This is in red and black. They also come in white, solid colors, just solid black. Um, these are also nice because you get a great smooth line under your clothes. Um, the one issue with open bottom girdles is they're fabulous. However, just as they hold your stockings up, your stockings also hold them down. So you can't just wear this without stockings or it will roll up and be very awkward and uncomfortable. You can also wear, if you're wearing something with spaghetti straps or strapless, this here is um, what I would call a Merry Widow, also from what Katie did from a previous line with this great polka dot um, color. And so this here is a great foundation when you have something that has um, it's bare shoulders and it will hold your stockings as well and give you a nice smooth line under your clothes. So those are some options for holding up your stockings. And next I'm going to show you how to put stockings on. So one thing that I'd like to mention is why I choose to wear modern stockings as opposed to vintage stockings. You can definitely find 40s and 50s stockings online. I've seen them on eBay, Etsy, and antique stores, and I've definitely picked up some over the years and have them in my collection. There's uh, two reasons why I prefer to wear modern stockings though. The first is stockings by their nature are very delicate, and I hate to be the one who ruined a pair that has survived for 60 or 70 years. It's probably silly, but that's just me. But the main reason is that, in general, women are taller on average. I'm five foot seven, which is on the tallish side now, and it was definitely tall then. And also, I have fairly curvy legs. So what that means is that even when I have found stockings labeled tall or extra long, they're just not long enough for me. Um, being tall and having fairly long legs that are on, on the curvy side means that the stockings like barely cover uh, past my knees and they're just not comfortable to wear. So I prefer to wear modern stockings for those reasons. The fit is better, and if they get a run, yeah, it's a sad thing, but they're new, so it's not as big of a deal. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to put on a pair of stockings. And I selected my Geo French Point in black with the red contrast seam, just because I thought they would look pretty on camera and show up nicer than a nude or bronze color. So as I mentioned, stockings are very delicate. And so you want to be as careful as possible and start by rolling them up like so. And then you're going to put them and arrange that uh, reinforced uh, foot over your own foot. And then you want to roll them on and try to keep your seam as straight as possible. So we'll start with the one, and then I'm gonna put on the second one before I stand up and show you how to hook your garter tabs. So roll those up. Get them all arranged. As gracefully as possible. And so then what I like to do is I'll stand up and adjust my seam. Try to get it as straight as possible. Pull them up on the leg and then, so I went with the waist center for this so I just have the four tabs. And so I'm gonna start with the back tab and the reason is that that keeps your seam straighter when you secure the back tab first. So I'll do the front, uh, the back and then move to the front. And I'm just, Put a little, little rubber portion of the tab under the stocking and then use a little metal loop to catch it and secure it. And so then 
get this one straightened out here. There it is, and once again, there's my back strap. And then we've got the front tab. Straighten out everything. I'm gonna put on a pair of shoes to finish the look. These are, of course, my favorite remix uh, Rita platforms in red. I'm tipping over here. And that is how you put on a pair of stockings. So I hope you enjoyed my video talking about stockings. Be sure to give us a thumbs up on YouTube and subscribe. And of course, don't forget to sign up for our Patreon account as well. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.